Full table is the best workbench to work on ice and glass. <clears throat> and I'm going to replace it with is this beautiful 30 gauge tinted ice and glass. It's going to be protected. It will not fade, supposedly, unless it's exposed to the elements like this one. Uh, they're a little bit more expensive, but kind of like the concept to have a little tint on the window. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, as I mentioned in my previous videos, I order them online in the winter time. Came pretty good packaged with all the uh, labels. Nice wrap. Now we'll see how it goes. Here's a recap of what I used, what worked, and what didn't work for me. So this is the pile that didn't work. I didn't invest a lot into it. This is uh, a tread, uh, supposedly 100% polyester from Walmart. It doesn't work. And let me show you why. Okay, polyester should not break that easy. Uh, number two, this is a nylon. It's a little bit stronger. <sighs> Ouch, I cannot break this, but this is a nylon and this is a nylon. So this nylon doesn't play nice with this nylon. You will not get a good tread through. So this is what works for me. Coats Outdoor Polyester. It's 100% polyester. It's very strong tread. And it works nice with ice and glass. You'll get tight uh, sewing with that. Here's to compare the stitches. Nylon, nylon, polyester, nylon, 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 nylon. I tried different settings for the nylon, did not work. This is probably the worst setting, but they're all coming loose, they're not tight. Polyester works really nice with ice and glass, it goes in and it's tight. And it gives you a nice stitch. Tacky glue. It does not work. Um, it works just on a, a umbrella, but it will not work on ice and glass. So it will not glue those two together. Uh, not long enough for you to start sewing it. It will just fall apart. The glue. Beacon, Fabric Tac, Premium Fabric Glue. It does work great. It will glue it and it will hold it actually together as you're sewing it. Spread a little fabric glue. I'm going to mimic what I'm going to do over there. Maybe I'm not going to make such a big mess. And then I'm going to put this on. And there. Leave it for a little bit to cure and see if it holds. So after a few minutes this works pretty good. I mean, it still comes off, but it's holding pretty good. I think when I'll be sewing it, at least it's not going to be moving on me. I mean, it's holding pretty good. But this works pretty well. <clears throat> I'm very happy with it. And that's what I'm going to do with the rest of it.
Let's do this. I'm not using any fancy machine. It's a regular machine. It's a little bit beat up. And um, that's it. Heavy duty scissors. Yeah, those are my scissors that I use in the garden. And they were great. This is a tough stuff to cut. This is great. A regular razor blade. Sharpie to mark. I use a pen, doesn't work. Pencil doesn't work. Sharpie it works. Okay, so it makes a little stain afterwards. You can easily clean it up. And I also use this, um, hmm, what is it called? Forgot. Uh, you can uh, make uh, shawls and scarves and hats with this. Uh, I use this to pick the threads. See if it's nicely. It's got a little hook at the end, so you can really rip those things apart. You don't really want to rip it, but you you want to take them apart. And sometimes these are very helpful because they're it's small. Goes right in there. Grab it. Pull it. Uh, the techniques I was using to simply sliding this underneath and coming across and put a lot of pressure on it but not too much so you don't cut into this or this portion of your uh, ice glass uh, very easy slow yeah it takes a little time and then you just use this to clean it up to pick all those thread, loose threads otherwise this whole project use five yards five yards of isinglass uh, I was able to do everything but my rear cover this is Rinker 280 and I don't really need to change the rear cover because it has a net on it and the isinglass did not get destroyed compared to these guys when they were exposed and they just got destroyed in the marina but other than that I'm very pleased with the project not the best showing sewing but uh, definitely something uh, it can be done at home So I was very frugal with my five yards. I mean, you can see I have very little scraps. This is the biggest piece probably I have left over, which there's nothing I can do with it. But this is my old stuff over there. And I'm very pleased with, with, the, with the thickness and how, how tough this is. I'll have it installed and I'll get back to you guys to report how does it handle and you can see I use the sharpie to mark my cuts so this is the machine I was using again not the best for the job but it will do the job and this is the color I was using and if you need the number the number is 8730 S971 D8 8730 coats outdoor 100% polyester and I was able to get this and the glue and Joanne's fabric and those ladies really know how to sew they might not be a boaters but they know a lot about sewing so if you tell them what material you're using and uh, uh, what, it, what you're trying to do they will point you in the right direction and then it's just trial and error this definitely doesn't work this works excellent <laughs>